All right, let's talk about Mythic Mithrax. Yeah, Mythic Mithrax. So this fight's uh, kind of fun. It was nerfed. It's actually going to be nerfed again the, the week after I make this video. So the first nerf now is the melee cannot be picked by orbs if there's range alive, which is absolutely massive. It's a huge nerf. And that's the, the strike you're going to see in this video. This uh, the, the nerf next week is the... Mind flayers don't always pick range DPS, which makes phase two healing a little bit easier, a little bit better. Um, I think it's a one more other. Ner oh, the ads have ten percent less HP as well. So, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at the talents uh, for this fight. How they recommend: a strike, fallout, flame crash, fracture, castrated sigils, spirit bomb, and I'm gonna say soul berry is definitely better on this fight because you can uh, prime up five souls for a nice uh, essence here. In the, this guide that you'll see, this is our first kill, I ran last resort because it allows me to focus more on ray leading and not so much on myself. So I do recommend Soul Bear 100% for this fight. I ended up using last resort just because I was ray leading and it's just easier for me to ray lead with last resort. And uh, as right, highest item level. Um, I'm, I actually used my DPS set for uh, my, my vengeance DPS set for the kill, our progression kill. Uh, he does hit really hard, and because of that, I'd highly recommend, like, blockades. Um, or, well, the trinket from Mithrax himself is good. Revealed Eye. Hybrids would be, like, Plumage, uh, Gale Collar, or uh, Dice. I was using DPS trinket, so Fathoms and um, Frenetic. Yeah. So, yeah. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look at the guide. Alright, here we are, Mythic Mithrax. Now, this fight is long. I didn't realize it was like a 10 minute fight, uh, give or take, depending if you have people die. Um, if you have people die early, it's probably a wipe. Um, there is a nerf coming in a few days where the ads will have 10% less damage, the big ads, and the little ads won't always uh, use Mind Flay on ranged targets. So... But this is after the nerf where the melee cannot get the orb if there's range alive. So basically what we did, and I'm getting over a cold so just bear with my voice here. But what we did is we stacked a lot of melee because why not? Melee has a lot of front load damage. So when the ad spawns, the melee just switch and burn it and switch back because there is no downside of using melee in this fight anymore. Hmm. So on the pole, um, you can potion right about here safely. Um, I normally do it as I fall because I don't trust anybody else, but if somebody hits the ground, you go in combat and you can't potion, so. So I pull back here, and we have the melee all stack up right under the boss because, again, there's no reason to. So, these weak auras, which I'll link in the comments if I don't forget, um, this tells you when the orb is spawning. When this hits close... The orb spawns, and if you're green, you cannot be uh, mind controlled. Melee can ignore it because they can't be picked. Um, afterwards, we get the range will not bait in. And then when you see the circle here, that means that's where the ad spawning. The range needs to get back up. Beware. So you have to dodge those. The most frustrating part of this entire fight is we wiped more times than not because people just got hit by beams at some point in the fight. Um, if you make it to the last phase with everybody alive or close to it, it should be a kill. Uh, the ad spawning it has to be the highest priority. Everybody has to switch and kill it. Um, if I'm not collecting orbs, I'm normally on it as well. One. Three, two, one. So here is the big hit. Um, here's where you would keep up demon spikes, that way for his melee portion, what have you, it's mitigated. But if you have soul bear, which you probably should, I didn't use it again because I'm ray leaning, um, you should use uh, soul barrier here every time. So, the trick here is to pick up as many of these orbs as possible. Um, if you do not start with zero, going into the next uh, shear, you're going to fall way behind. Um, this ad also disappears at 50%. You need to kill it and push it out before the third void echoes. Beware. It also does a beam you have to dodge. I procced last resort. Oh yeah, I did. Healers weren't healing me. Uh, this tank, or this boss hits really hard. However, um, 
I honestly didn't have that many issues with it. Uh, the one that we kill is where I proc'd LR early, which is kind of funny. So the uh, blood DK goes around and death grips people out of the uh, the uh, my control orbs. Because here's our second bait. You should only get two adds in phase one. Uh, Say if I re ran for shears if they're coming up, by the way. But your goal is to do as much damage as possible, especially to the add, and get your stacks to zero and dodge the beams. Yeah, this fight's kind of boring to be honest with you. I try not to take the other tank's uh, orbs, and he tries not to take mine, but sometimes we have to. And I got hit by that beam somehow. You have to be careful, careful of the hitbox when they do the beam. If you're actually in his hitbox, you can still get hit. Even if you're not in front of him sometimes, like right there. Alright, so phase two is pretty fun. Uh, basically, what we do is, is melee still hits him a little bit, but the range has to spread out for the next orb. And on the east side of the room, we have two markers for two rocks. So I'll show it to you in a second when I turn. Alright, so here's the first one, and the second one's over here. All melee just goes and stacks up on, on the uh, the rock right away, just because um, th they can't be picked by the smart control, which just hit X, or Hex. So they all group up, and then once the mind control orb goes out, everybody groups up. And the ash should be spawned in here. I'm going to taunt it, bring it back. Now, pick up some of those orbs. Now, how this should work is you have the other off tank and one healer on the other side. If you have a shaman healer, that's awesome because the shaman can alternate interrupts. If you have any other healer, you have to use like pets for interrupts, like warlock pets. Um, seeing as we have a shaman uh, healer, he's over there with the off tank and they're alternating the interrupts and the volleys by themselves and everybody else is on this rock. Now with this weak ore, there's a beam coming in. When it hits one, you gotta move. Grab that orb, now this rock here is very important. Every single person has to be on this rock. So besides laser beams, the most wipes we had is because people don't get on this rock. I, d I don't get it. And this is the, the rock that's most important here. Assuming you start over here, is the ads will spawn when you're on this side of the room. So if everybody is on the rock like they're supposed to, when the uh, ads come out, right there, they're all grouped up on the rock. See, somebody was off the rock here, and here's an ad that should not be there. Alright, so beam's coming. We all gotta move back to the other rock. I know I can't be picked by anything, so I'm gonna come up here and DPS. Uh, at this point, the other off tank is bringing the ad back over. You want to use a warlock gateway for this, or if you have a... We're using a DK, so he's kind of slow. I think he's using both his uh, speed talents. I think he took um, Wraithwalk for this. Because it's very imperative that he gets over here as quickly as possible. Now again, this will have 10% less health in, uh, well, next week. And it'll be a lot easier to kill. These ads cannot be interrupted. They can, Oh, they can be interrupted. They can't be silenced. So here's the other ad is coming. Where? He's going to eat the next shear. Now, we have a tank eat double shear, which is bad. I know a lot of guilds we use a warrior. It'll pop like, um, I forget the name of it. They're, they're big defensive and, and uh, tank the shear. That way that uh, tanks will get double shear, but we find it's not really that big of a deal. We'll be fine. So he's going to eat the double shield here. Shear. Uh, here's where all the ads are grouped up, which is good. So I'm going to taunt it. Beam's coming. Beware. So here we need to kill this ad before the next shear. Or we're in trouble. Keep interrupting the volley. And now we're going to go over here and kill these. So at this point, phase one just started. And orbs are coming. Uh, my control orbs. So range needs to get the hell out. So they'll get out. And then uh, you're ready to bait. Melee also has to bait the uh, little ad too. But we want to finish these ads off quick. Three, two, one. And then everybody should be baiting in the middle now. Pick up some of his orbs. Beware. Three, 
And then it's off is one over again. There's one, nothing different here. Two, he he starts one, taking first inside two, the ad last. Yeah. Steal one of his orbs. Two of his orbs. Beware. Three, two, one. But yeah, this is all about keeping everybody alive. Nobody dies to the blast, keep everybody topped off. Somebody did die though. Um, if you get two people mind controlled, it's hard to recover. It's fair. You can recover from two, but more than two, you're probably going to wipe eventually. Uh, the healer's mana. Beware. Must have missed one of these. The healer's mana um, just gets bad. They go oom um, by the end of the fight. It's a 10 minute fight with a lot of healing. Must have 12 stacks, which is bad. Beware. Um, so if you can get to the last phase, Three, the last phase two, two with everybody alive, it one. should be a kill unless we do something really dumb. So far, everybody's alive. We have one battle res just pop. It's gonna hurt. Yeah, it's just meta because I wasn't gonna top off. Remember, I am also Beware. playing with all fits of trinkets here and fracture. I'm a scumbag. Game. Fracture isn't that big of a deal on this because you can alternate between who's taken. Two, one. Three, two, one. I just stole one of his orbs. Ah, we lost two healers there. Three, three. They got call for a battle at Battle Resident Lin. Alright, so phase two again, go back to normal positions. Three. Two, one. Alright, so same thing. You just want to burn this guy. If you're missing DPS, this ad doesn't Beware. die quick enough. Oh, here's the orb where you have to stack up on and make your life and everybody's life easier. So there's that shear. There shouldn't be any more shears in phase in one in this phase. I think we lose hex here to all the adds. Yeah. So if you bring the last range, the range has very limited Beware. targets on who they can pick. So which is why you see the range die here. Because there's only so many ranges that can be picked for it. So if you get picked by more than one, they die like you just saw there. So again, somebody didn't get on the rock. Beware. Like, I don't understand why it's so hard to get on the rock. Because you save so much healing needed, so much damage needed. It's just so much easier if you just get on that rock. We had that issue quite a bit. It was super frustrating. Three, two, one. And since I know I can't be picked for anything, I'm going to try to DPS these down. Because if these are dead, it's just easier. Beware. I just need to get back in the middle one, for the taunt. Two, one. Beware. All right, so this is where we bloodlust. Bloodlust when the first ad is up to get him dead. Want that first ad gone as quickly as possible. Because now we're starting to bleed out. Three, Beware. Two, one. Three, two, one. At twenty percent, we no longer spawn orbs when we get hit by shit. So right here, you won't see any orb spawn. And let me take this moment to say something, because I forgot about it. Um, when he does his big laser beam, and he hits orbs, let's so say he shoots it in this direction, and goes over these two orbs, the orbs are despawned. So basically, you don't want to risk it. So when there's orbs, you just go get it, before he has a chance to shoot them. We see it, it's like not one. that huge of a deal. Like, you should plan around it. It's just something to keep in the back of your mind. Right now, we're just, it's all about attrition because the tanks can no longer drop stacks. <laughs> Ironically, I'm going to have Last Resort come back off cooldown after the beginning of the fight. When it procced on the first sheer. And meta was back up. Uh, right here, the second ad spawned. Um, if the boss was under 4.5 million, you would kill the boss, not the ad. 
but otherwise you, you have to kill the ad. Um, he was at like 7 million when it spawned, so we have to kill the ad. You can try to push him and kill him here, but the problem is, is if... Oh, I got hit by that. I'm terrible. Um, if that third void blast gets off, you're probably going to wipe because it does too much damage. So you just have to just kill it. I think the other tank does here. Yep. I didn't talk fast enough. At this at this moment, first kill, kind of panicking, trying to figure out what the hell's going on. Um, at this point, we're also not pulling out some some DPS just because it's going to kill people if we pull them out. That's going to make me go an LR, but beware, 0.4% instead. Um, so, quick recap: the fight is a very long fight, very long fight. Um, the biggest thing is not get by beams. Kill the ad, like bait, and then instantly kill the ad. And then uh, get on the rock in phase two and just jump back and forth for laser beams. That's it. If you can do those without anybody dying, you'll kill it. It's not hard at all. Um, however, if you have people, one or two people dying over time, you're not going to be able to hit the, the DPS timers that you need to hit. Like killing the ads fast enough, and then you're just going to fall behind. So that's uh, Mythic Mythrex. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments. And thank you for watching.